My name is May and welcome to this week's reading vlog. It's November 6, Saturday. It's the weekend. I was supposed to start a new set of books for the reading vlog last night but I was not in the mood mainly because I was editing this previous um, reading vlog for the top horror best choice for 2020 and as i was editing i realized the background music was the loudest and that you cannot hear my voice so it doesn't make sense to post it anymore so i just sumakit yung ulo ko ginilit pa lahat best anyway I'll just share in this video my quick review on the Mexican Gothic. However, I have a full review on my blog, which I will link down below. So, uh, Mexican Gothic is actually or following the story of our protagonist, Noemi. She's an elite rich kid and from the 1950s, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. She's living her life. She's 22 early 20s solo partying um, drinking smoking and they, the family received a letter from her cousin Catalina which is living in the countryside na the letter from Catalina was very very weird she talked about poison ghosts spiders um, snakes. Yeah, so it caught the attention of Noemi's dad. They decided that Noemi should go to the countryside to Catalina to check on her. So when she got there, apparently it was a mansion because the guy or the husband was, or the family of the husband was once a wealthy silver mine owner. It's really, really creepy. Nung nakita pa lang yung Noemi yung bahay, she's not at ease anymore. Apparently, Catalina was sick. Something in the house is making her sick. But there's a dark background of the house and of the family. It affects Catalina and other person who lives in the mansion. So it mentioned, or the book mentioned, a lot about spores, mushrooms, other plants. In the end, it was a happy ending. It was a fairy tale. It was actually not a very um, scary horror book. It's more of a romance na pagdating sa dulo. But I enjoyed it. I really, really liked the book. The writing is super nice. Easy to understand. It's an easy read. It's a page turner. Ano pa bang gusto mong sabihin ko? Para basahin mo din. Overall, I rated it 4.8 out 
to 5. Sige, 5 na lang. Ayoko na i-explain yung 4.8. But as mentioned earlier, I have a full review on my blog. I listed there the parts that I loved and I did not love. I actually have a hanging question about one character. Before we move on to the top, ano ba yung title ko? Most popular books that I will be reading this week. Let me show you this Emily Richards book. I'm not sure if I have posted a vlog na na may cameo nito. It's a um, contemporary fiction. It's a um, more of a my notes ako dito. It talks about personal and social struggles. It talks about family, irony of life, and it's almost a self-help book based on my feelings. <laughs> so there are parts that I have related myself into. I have also um, similar stories with the characters here. Also, I have started an audiobook. It is It by Stephen King. Actually, I was torn between reading the book, listening to the audiobook, or watching the movie adaptations. Because it's the chapter twist on Netflix na. And since I was busy cooking breakfast earlier this morning, I decided to go to the audiobook. Okay, so let's go to the most popular books in 2021 so far. So if you don't know and if you are not a member of Goodreads, Goodreads is a platform. It's actually a social media platform for book nerds, bookworms, book readers. The topics there are about books and books only. Audiobooks as well. So every July, Goodreads is releasing their list of most popular books of the year so far. I know this is late. I'm also late reading. I have a very busy schedule. I'm so sorry. So we have 24 most popular fiction and non-fiction books for the first half of 2021. So I'm not sure kung gaano katagal ko sila matatapos lahat. But let's start with three books and then let's move on and move on and maybe this vlog will have a part two or part three or so. I'm not sure. Ngayon, but I have purchased or the first three pa lang. I'm not sure if this is ranked but yeah. So first book is Gigilid niya ako. The Four Winds by Christine Hanna. If you're not familiar with Christine Hanna, is known for her heartbreaking and exciting historical fiction novels. The Four Winds takes place in Texas in 1934 during the Great Depression and an insu insufferable drop. Elsa must make a choice to stay and fight for the success of her land, her home, and her community or take a chance and head to California in the hopes of better life. This is a story of the search for the American dream one of a painful and shocking journey that is likely to pull tears for many readers. Let's see. Yabang po, iyaki naman. Anyway, na-start ko na siya. Hinahanap ko yung phone ko ito pala. Na-start ko lang kanina. Alright, next book is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Fenner. Okay, so the description reads, This is a historical fiction that mixes fantasy and mystery to bring female apothecary in 1700s London to life. The old apothecary dispenses poisons to help free women from those who have wronged them. In 1791, a young girl seeks the help of the apothecary woman, spurring an intense, intense string of events that reveals the secrets of many women the apothecary has helped. When a present-day woman discovers an old vial near the river, she begins to uncover the apothecary murders, twisting the fates and stories of women across centuries. Hmm, this is interesting. Okay, next a book is The Push by Ashley Audrey. The Push is a thriller that demands to be read in single city. 
Hmm. I'm sorry. I need to finish my good deeds challenge for 2021. It's only 20 books and yet I cannot finish it. Parang ilang taon ko na ba hindi natatapos yung ulit. The Push by Ashley Audrey. The Push is a thriller that demands to be read in a single sitting. Blythe was determined to be the mother she never had, but struggles when her daughter starts to believe differently, possessing a vaguely sinister quality that no one else notices except Blythe. When Blythe's son is born, she has the bliss blissful motherly connection for which she always hoped until the life she imagined changes in an instant. Major Bitten. Okay, so since I have no time that I'll need to prepare they are still happy and wealthy and before anything else I have to highlight a beautiful intro I will post here post it chapter 1 and 2 talks about Elsinore's or Elsa's struggles on the limited rights of women. If you're a girl, you're a woman, parang no need for you to study. Instead of studying and working, women are expected to stay at home and be a housewife or something and then serve the family and the husband. So far, I am liking the book and it's very interesting to be honest. And you know, the, the topic, the concept, the way it's been written, there there are also um, old words, old terms that we don't use now. But uh, when I googled it, when I searched in the dictionary, it's an old term pala for certain words. Here's a spoiler about Raffaello and Elsa. I'm hopeful. I just don't have time. Let's move on. Let's go on. Bye. <laughs> box here and I want you to be part of it. We have three packages. All of these are from Shopee and I will share all links below. Ang dinim today, lagi pala. Okay, ito muna. So I bought this from, do so I have 10 mini size transparent sticky notes. These are waterproof daw, but parang one by one. Ay! Parang 2 by 1, one and a half inch by 1 and a half inch. I just want to transparent because when you post it to a page on a book, hindi mo 
matatapan or mababasa mo pa rin yung, um, yung text sa book. Yeah, so, so cute. I bought 10 pieces. Tapos may pa free sila. Um, Sailor Moon, unfortunately, I'm not a fan. But I will give this to Nemo na lang. They have three stickers here. Ay, napakita ko na rin yung sticky tabs. These sticky tabs are separately purchased sa ibang um, Shopee, Shopee stores. Ito, nauna kasi silang dumating. Tingnan mo ang dami kasi I ordered one. Tapos, China pala siya. I mean, coming from China, ay eh, antagal. So, I ordered sa local store. Tapos, sa gasa, napuno na sila, naipo na sila, naipo. Yung iba, ni, yung iba niyon, yung iba medyo pastel. Next package is, medyo malaki siya. But, I guess malaki siya kasi ito yung lalagyanan ko eh. So, of course, meron na namang sticky notes. These are bigger than the other one, kanina. Ito yung kanina, ito yung ngayon. And this one, meron siyang colors. And I have this um, box of marks. Mm. Siyempre, best pinili ko si uh, si Van Gogh. So beautiful. Hmm. Alright. So, nagpalit tayo ng camera. Para kitang kita. Aha. Uh, huh. Wala akong clip. Right. Let's unbox this baby. This is a Kindle Basic. Color. Anong color? Black. Color black. And, I have here the cases. Wait lang. Mm. <laughs> These are the cases that I have bought. One plain black, and of course, the almond gloss home. Ito na, pumuksan ko na siya. This is the Kindle. Wala akong kukuha, so walang tono. Let's unbox this baby. It's the basic 10th gen. It has 6 inch touch display, 167 ppi, built in light, it's Wi Fi, and it's 8 gig of storage. So nice. Look at this baby. My god, it's so nice. The screen. Ito yung sinasabi nilang akala mo papel, akala mo sticker or something. But it's not. It's the screen. Open. Ba't ayaw? Ayun! Yun! Ooh. It's preparing the device. It asks me what language should I prefer. I chose English. And then now, gagamitin ko yung phone ko. So, I'll request to remove the ad while it's preparing and then i will transfer na the uh, books i want to finish high school scared of making my mistakes wish for you to take your to rest but only when i want i could be pretty baby Ooh, so in it. <sighs> Just an update and maybe I'll be ending the vlog here. In the synopsis, this book, the setting of the story was during the Great Depression, but it's more than the Great Depression. So they met different kinds of people. Some are good and some are bad. Well, that's the truth when you travel. You meet different people and you can't do anything but hope that they're good and they have good intentions. I like that the book also talked about not just the Great Depression but the challenge and poverty and also politics. How big people control the economy, the um, even the government and sadly this unending issue and a very disgusting one that no matter how high or how loud your voice is there are still people who are makakapal ang muka and, and we can't just read of them because they're the mayaman, they're the big people. The book also talked about the rights of women and the different ways people fought for it. It was also mentioned 
when the women fought for the right to vote and now they are fighting for quality of wages and a day's work. So, what else? It also talked about love, motherhood. And I love that they touched a very big part of the book, Touched Motherhood. Her Elsa's relationship with her daughter, Loreda, and how much influence we have to our kids and how much our kids influences us as well. It talked about hardships and sacrifices as a mom, as a kid, as a parent. And I know if you have already read this, I know your favorite character is Elsa. She is the warrior. But can we just appreciate Rose as well? Here's a quote from the epilogue. She can sense when the sadness rises in me. Some days she gives me space with my grief. Some days she takes my hand. I don't know how, but she always knows which I need. Mm. The book is written very, very well. It's an easy read. It's a page turner. Lahat na lang sinasabi ko kapag maganda yung libro, yan na yun. And probably this is the best book I have read this year. Sa konti na yun, but yes. And I can't even think of any downsides about this book. I have read highlights kasi Loretta is a very annoying girl. But it makes sense at the end. She's a teenager and you know how teenagers behave and thinks. Oh, in it. I am excited to read more of Christina Hanna. It's effective yung sinasabi na Lana. Very emotional magsulat si Christina Hanna. It's very true. Very true. Naiinis ako, ganyan ako ng ganyan. So, I also have read The Lost Apothecary. I finished this via ebook, the ebook e version on Scribd. And I'm sorry, but I didn't understand the story. <laughs> Hindi ko makita why this was voted as one of the best books. Maybe it was just because of the audiobook. I don't appreciate kasi the audiobook. But I need one book at least to salang in the audiobook so whenever i have i have physical tasks I have parang productive reading pa din. but hindi ko siya talaga na appreciate maybe because of the non emotional character or it just didn't make sense but i gave it a 1 because the synopsis is very interesting it got me reading and the cover is nice but the story the concept i didn't Get. Let me know. Let me know if you love this and why you love this. I'm giving it a second try. This time reading the ebook version. But not now, maybe. I am starting Clara and the Sun. This one. By Kazuo Ishiguro. This reminded me of the movie Her. I'm not sure if this is parang close. But the Her kasi it's an AI. But this one, it's an AF. And I'm gonna say this again next the vlog because AF, the term AF is widely used in this book. AF is not as fuck, but artificial friend. Sorry, it's 2021. I read it as fuck, but it's an artificial friend. Clara is an artificial friend. So, yeah, I'm going through this today. I'm ending the vlog now. See you again on the next video. On the next one. I'll give you ukulele lessons Monday mornings if you're free We can go to wherever we like There's so much out there to see You can paint a picture while we're playing